If you would have told me back in spring training that Sam Haggerty would be the Mariners' biggest secret weapon, I would have been a little bit worried. But that's exactly what the Phoenix, Arizona native has been for a team that's vying for their first playoff spot since the 2001 season. Sam Haggerty was claimed off of waivers from the Mets by the Mariners on the 10th of January in 2020. Now, just coming into this year, Haggerty was assigned to AAA Tacoma, and he was called up again on May 22nd, and then subsequently sent back down on the 17th of June. And finally, Haggerty was called back up one final time on the 29th of June, and now he's here to stay. Everything Haggerty does for the Seattle Mariners is exactly what they need, but you would have not known that at the beginning of the season. In his career, he has a 1.5 war, and this season he has a 1.6, meaning that he came into the year with a negative 0.1 career war, which, not bad, he's an average player. However, this year Haggerty has played in 52 games with 127 plate appearances. I guarantee you that is not the plan that the Mariners had in mind when they started this season. No hate to Sam Haggerty here, but it's just not what they had in mind. Obviously, Jesse Winker hasn't been that great. Jared Kelnick got sent down and really hasn't been very good. Julio Rodriguez and Mitch Haniger have both spent time on the IL, and Abraham Toro and Dylan Moore, the projected backups and, I guess, utility men for the Seattle Mariners in 2022, both have been, well, really, really bad. Sam Haggerty came in and won that spot from them, and then eventually he started to win the second base job over Adam Frazier. Now, that's not to say that Adam Frazier wasn't playing, because of course he was, but Frazier was seriously struggling. But now Sam Haggerty, better known as Ham Swaggerty, needs to be in the lineup pretty much every single day in some way, shape, or form. In 127 plate appearances, Haggerty's hitting 310, 357, 491, good for an OPS plus of 147, easily the highest of his career. Haggerty also has 10 stolen bases as he added to today. And about those stolen bases, everything that Haggerty does on the base pass is exactly what the Mariners need this time of year. And while the series in Oakland may not have uh, gone exactly as planned, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't Haggerty played a really, really big role in those games. Just think about the last game that they had in Oakland. Even though the Mariners did end up losing, he was put on first base with one out to pinch run for Carlos Santana. Subsequently, Haggerty stole second base and got an incredible jump, and he wasn't done there as he then stole third base. Now, of course, the Mariners didn't drive him in, but I mean, you know, what are you going to do? And in that crazy ninth inning against the Angels the other day, Haggerty also was able to take second on a ball that was thrown over the second baseman's head by Max Stassi, but, you know, that's what speed do. And then Haggerty was able to steal third base on the very next pitch, which basically, in the end, is what helped the Mariners win the game. Having a utility man that can hit, that can steal, and that can play basically any position is such a big, big part of playoff baseball. I feel like day in and day out, if the Mariners have a lead going into the late innings, there's a good chance that Haggerty is a defensive replacement for either Jesse Winker or for Mitch Haniger. He might not start over either of them, but I think it's a really good idea to get him in the outfield if you have a slim lead. And especially with Winker struggling lately with his back, he has had a rough time in the outfield and Haggerty has been able to take over. You can see Sam's spray chart here, and you can see he's run into a couple home runs, but realistically, there's no way to play Sam Haggerty other than straight up. He can spray the ball around the field, he can lay down a bunt if he needs to, and he is just a force on the base paths. And having a switch hitting utility man is always great. However, Sam Haggerty definitely thrives against the left-handed pitchers. In 39 at-bats, he has three home runs, three doubles, a triple, and eight RBI. With just 10 strikeouts, he's hitting 462, 500, 821, with a 1.321 OPS against left-handed hitters, and against righties, really not even close to as good, hitting 234, 286, 325, good for a 611 OPS. So while it's possible you could see Haggerty platooning maybe with Adam Frazier at second base from now on, there's a really good chance that with this slash line right here, Sam Haggerty is going to be playing a lot more against lefties, whereas Adam Frazier will be taking his at-bats against righties, as he's hitting 218, 298, 300 with a 598 OPS against southpaws. Honestly, having somebody like Haggerty in your back pocket as you get later into games, and especially if you make it into the postseason, is such a really big deal. His defensive wizardry, his ability on the base paths to make things happen, it seems like, as they've said in the broadcast, whenever there's something going on in a Mariners game right now, Sam Haggerty is right in the middle of it. 
And while Sam Haggerty finds himself in the middle of pretty much everything happening for the Mariners, there is one player that we really need to see get going, and Sam Haggerty's actually kind of been taking at-bats away from him. Go ahead and click on the video on the screen now. I'm going to tell you about who that is. Thank you guys so much for watching this one, and go Mariners!